Hello, Stampers. Kelly Atchison at stampabub.com coming to you live, not live, from the Nash of Wisconsin. I am pre-recording this um, stamp class tonight because most of you know I am camping for the week. I didn't want to leave you high and dry. And I had talked about um, putting out a card challenge for you to participate in. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that when we get going here. And I have a fantastic prize to give away. Everybody that enters the challenge, which means makes a card based on the parameters of the challenge, will get entered in a drawing to win the prize. Yay! I love prizes, which leads me to, I am not going to give away prizes tonight for my last live. I'm going to wait until I'm live again to be able to do that because it's so much more fun, right? So, I am camping. I'm not going to be back until back from camping until the 13th. I doubt very much if I'm going to be live on the 13th because, well, it's just a lot getting home that day and trying to get everything put away and unpacked and get life back to normal, right? So, while you're watching this, I am in beautiful Hatfield, Wisconsin. Their population, I believe, is about 450 in the winter and 5,000 in the summer. It's a great tourist spot right in the middle of the state of Wisconsin. We have a beautiful lake that we're going to be camping by. Um, fantastic campsites with great facilities. Haley, Jared, the babies, Dawson and Val will be there. Molly's coming with us. Steve, of course, is coming with us. My aunt and uncle are camping in the camping, in the, um, in the, what do they call it? The campsite <laughs> right across the road from us. So we're super excited about this vacation. It's just a great time to bond with everybody. And Steve just got his new boat on Monday. So yay. And so far I can tell you about the boat. It's pretty. It's just charcoal gray, but it looks nice. It looks great behind the truck. So we have no idea if it works yet. <laughs> but as I, t I think I talked to you guys last week about the $575 pole that we had to get to put on the back for uh, towing the tube for tubing. So I'll let you know if that works. Er, that just really like got my butt, I'll tell you. Anyways, we have so many fantastic things going on with Stampin' Up! right now. First of all, last Wednesday, we have a brand new catalog. Now, this is not available to the public yet, but it was available to demonstrators and discount shoppers to pre-order from on Wednesday. And if you guys are interested in getting a hold of products in this mini catalog early, the best way to do that is to join my team. Oh my gosh, you can join my team as a discount shopper. You can join my team as a business builder, completely up to you. And please let me tell you that I will never ever um, hassle you to do any more than you wanna do, completely up to you. I have a sweet, loving team, like we have so much fun together and I never push them to do anything more than they want to do. So just know that you'll enjoy discounts on all your future orders. And when you order your kit to join, whether you're joining again as a business builder or a discount shopper, you can choose items, any items in this beautiful mini catalog to put in your starter kit. Your kit is only $99. You get free shipping on that. You do have to pay tax, whatever your local tax is. And um, you get to choose up to $125 in anything you want. It's an amazing opportunity. So if you'd like to join my team, you can head over to my blog, www.estampabub.com. Look in the right-hand column and you're gonna look for $99 kit or right at the top, it says join my team. Click on that and join, super easy. I do recommend that you write down your item codes for the items that you're going to choose in the online starter kit order um, place because if something happens, you get timed out on your computer or your laptop or, or um, 
It's better to order this kit on a laptop, I'll tell you that. But if you get timed out, you'll have it all written down so it's not such a big hassle. I just want to let you know that. So join, get a discount on future orders, become, start some, become part of something bigger. You will absolutely love it. There are no strings attached to this. You'll have a blast. And um, what you guys see here that I do, there's a whole other world behind the scenes that is part of being part of my team. So join, get your hands on this stuff early. You don't have to worry about it selling out because I can tell you that there, this catalog is so beautiful. There's like so, I had no control on my pre-order. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I had no control. I just, there's so many things in here that I love and I know they're gonna be super popular too. So that leads into we have a catalog kickoff that is going to be starting. I'm going to turn my camera around here. In just a second, I'm going to tell you all about it. New catalog kickoff, amazing event. It's all online. Ah, oh, they're so fun. So let me go through some of my other things. Um, first of all, I have some a new kit, a couple new kits that I'm going to share with you. Uh, my John report is that Steve brought the new boat home and of course we don't have a garage so we're kind of stacking up in our driveway right now we only have one lane driveway so it's constant musical vehicles right and Steve was saying yeah I don't know where I'm going to put this boat and John bless his heart he said why don't you just back it in right between our garages and the grass I don't care yay John that was really nice because I think we'll probably do that the one thing I love about this new boat is that before we had a cover for it, but you couldn't travel with the cover on the boat. It wasn't made for that. So you had to take the cover off and get to where you're getting, and then you could put the cover on to, you know, like store it overnight or whatever. This cover is, can be on there while you're driving down the highway. So yay, that's exciting. So I think we'll be able to store our boat between the garages until the garage is done. Nothing has happened with the garage. We're still waiting for the roof trusses. Um, they are supposed to arrive on the 15th, so we'll see. Uh, I am excited to tell you that I found a pool guy. I'm so excited about this guy. Like, he knows his stuff. He's, he's actually coming to pick up a check tomorrow. I submitted his um, quote to my insurance company, and that reminds me I need to check my email because they were supposed to, like, send me money online that I can then click on and have it put in my account but this guy is going to start this weekend and <laughs> so excited um remind me to tell you about the deck because that's a whole other fiasco going on around here poor fred you guys know fred the guy who's been working on our house for the last couple of years yeah well i feel really bad for him but tell me to tell you about the deck next time i'm on live um Please make sure you give me a thumbs up while you're watching this video. Also, sharing is caring, so make sure you share my video. That helps me grow my business, and I really appreciate it. Those are the things, and comment. Those are the things that are going to get you entered in the drawings to win prizes, which I will be awarding when I'm on live again next time. And... I think this corner, the bottom right corner of your screen has a subscribe button. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have other things coming out besides the lives that I do for you, and I definitely want you to be able to get notifications when I post a video, so that's always helpful. Uh, I'm going to turn my camera around. I have some mail to share with you. Beautiful mail, of course. I absolutely love sharing my mail with you. And... Um, yeah, I think that's it. We're, we're ready to stamp already. It's kind of weird not having you guys here talking to me because I'm not having to watch comments and being able to say, hey, and what's the weather and all the things. So I really like, like being live. I like having you guys on here a lot better than doing a live, not live. But it's Sunday night, and I wanted to get you, get you your fix of stamping, right? Hang tight. I'm going to turn my camera around. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that nothing goes wrong. Let's see. Come on. You can do it. Hang on. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Hang tight while I get this in here. It's straightened out. I 
I always kind of like my screen to be straight so you guys don't look like everything's crooked. So, hey, catalog kickoff. Barb, Dina, and I get together and do a catalog kickoff for everybody. And we are going to be doing this catalog kickoff September 6th through the 20th. I'm pretty sure we talked about having a live meet and greet on the Facebook group. This isn't a private Facebook group. Um, on September 5th, but I can't remember if we if we actually agreed upon the date or if we just kind of talked about it. So we'll have a live meet and greet either on the 5th or the 6th, and that's done where Barb, Dean, and I get together on Zoom, and we broadcast it to a Facebook group where we're live there, and you can ask us questions, and you can interact with us. It's super, super fun. Um, we will have card challenges, ordering specials, seven exclusive live classes, mystery stamping, a super special surprise. The cost for the catalog kickoff is $15. All the content on the catalog kickoff will continue to be available like forever. And it's all recorded. So if you, in, this, in the dates that we'll set up for the live classes, if you have to miss one, due to a scheduling conflict, no big deal. You can come watch it when it works for you. This is all online, so you get to sit right in the comfort of your own home and watch all the fun that we're going to have. It is open to everyone worldwide. It doesn't matter where you live in the world, you can participate in this catalog kickoff. And if you're a Sam Happy Academy member, this event is free for you as long as you have been a member for three months. So no charge for that. Now, um, I am going to be posting a registration link for this on my blog. I don't have it there yet. And, and by the way, um, I am recording this on August 6th. So maybe by the time you watch my video, it might be there. But if it's not, you're just going to go to my blog, www.astampabove.com and look for this graphic new catalog kickoff party there will be a registration link there for you if you're a stamp happy academy member for three months or longer you will be going to the stamp happy academy website where you'll get a link to the facebook page you go there you answer the questions it'll ask you a couple questions and then you wait for approval the approval process in the facebook group is manual so um, I just don't want you to expect it to bam, let you in right away. Barb, Dean, and I have to go in there and say yes to your um, request to join. So just know that. Catalog kickoff, you guys. Super exciting. We will also have make and take packets available for um, half of the online classes. We do seven classes. We do... Um, classes with the make and take projects and then we do additional classes for additional ideas so there will be make and take packets available those are usually available a little later we don't get those together just yet but you can register for this as soon as i have it up and again it's not on my blog as of right now which is friday but you guys are watching this on sunday so whew, that's a lot <laughs> um next up I have a brand new class that was just posted to my blog with the earthen textures. This is a beautiful bundle of product. Beautiful bundle, stamp set and dies. Absolutely love this one. As usual, there are three options here. This is the class I do with Barb and Dina. Three options available. You can get the whole enchilada for $114. You can get the pre-cut card stock only with the embellishments for $45, or you can get the PDF file. If you are if you don't live in the U.S. or you already have the products, you can get the PDF file for $20. Again, this is posted on my blog. Go there and look for this graphic, and you will um, be able to register for this class. When you register for a class, it sends me an email. And when I get that email, I have to manually go in and invoice you. So if you don't get an invoice for a few days, don't worry. As long as you have clicked that register button, it is waiting for me. And again, that's a manual process that I have to go in and do. So just so you know that. And remember, I'm camping. So <laughs> next up, we have the Hey Chuck class. I just announced this one last week. 
and um, I, this is, oh, let's go back to this. This is a pre-order for this class. It will be available on August 31st, so just know that you're pre-ordering it. That gives me the opportunity to know how many people are ordering and how many cuts to kit, cuts to kit for, <laughs> how many kits to cut for, and also how much product to order, so just so you know that. Also, pre-order for the Hey Chuck class. This class, I don't have the date on here. I thought I did. This is going to be available the week of um, August 27th is when I'm going to be shipping it. So just know that. By the way, with this class, if you order option number one, I will ship all of this product to you except for the pre-cut cardstock pack. I'll ship this right to you as soon as you pay your invoice. The pre-cut cardstock pack will come out the week of the 31st as well as the PDF file. Okay, this one we said 827 and um, all of this comes together in a kit. You have the opportunity to add on the stamp set and the dies, you'll need them. If you don't have them, you can add them on. All of this product is included in the Hey Chuck class. And if you recall, if you recall, if you watched my live last week, oh my goodness, these are just additional ideas using Hey Chuck, and isn't this absolutely adorable? The um, Brights Designer Series paper will be included in the kit, and uh, let's see what else. We have the Neutrals Adhesive Backed Sequins. I'm going to give you a whole box, 10 of the gift card boxes. I'll give you some ideas with those. You get four different designs of the cards, and you get to make two of each for a total of eight cards. Pre-cut cardstock will come with that. You get envelopes, dimensionals, um, mini dimensionals, regular dimensionals, the gift card boxes, the sequins, and the bright designer series paper six by six with the PDF file that includes photos, written instructions, and a video tutorial for each one of the cards. This includes priority shipping also. But here's that super cute card. That's oh my gosh, neutrals, I just love this DSP layout. Neutrals. Here it is in the um, shaded spruce and also the cherry cobbler. Super, super cute set. All right, then I have my trucking along class. I actually sold out of these, but I ordered more stuff and I'm cutting more product for these. So if you would like to get that trucking along class, I, um, I continue to make it available on my blog. And again, in the right-hand column, go down to out online classes and you'll see all of these classes. This um, this punch is back ordered until October. So if you order option one that includes a stamp set and the punch, I will ship everything out right away except the punch. And I have a list going for the people that I will send the punches to as soon as I can order them. So just want you to know that. And timeless arrangements class. This is a super fun class. I do still have some of these available. So I just wanted you to know that. Um, let's see, I just set that right here. So here it is, I actually have this one right here. So with this class, you get a um, box of mini glue dots. You get the inked and da, 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 mm, um, inked botanicals, I couldn't think of it. Designer series paper, a whole pack, the wavy trim, and you have the option to add on the bundle. Beautiful set of dies and the stamp set. And then here you get a half a pack of the brushed brass butterflies. And here are all the dies that are not included in these dies. There's some circles in here and some polygons and other things. But all of that is cut up for you. Your PDF file comes, you just take this out and you can start creating. It is fantastic. So I have a few more of these left. I did not sell out of them yet. Just wanted to let you know that this is a fantastic class, you guys. Like, I'm really proud of the cards that I created for this one. They're really, really pretty. Last but not least, we have Stamp Happy Academy. Stamp Happy Academy is a website that Barb Dina and I have created together you get four new online classes every single month from us. Plus, if you're a member of Stamp Happy Academy for three months or more, when we have a catalog kickoff, it's free to you. And like I said, those are $15 to everybody else. Basic membership is $19.95. Right now, there's over 100, 100 classes, over 100 classes. 
you have access to when you get a basic membership. Premium membership includes three more live classes plus the four online classes each month for $34.95 plus the catalog kickoff party. So you can go to sampappyacademy.ning.com. You'll find all the information on there and you can click on whichever um, option works best for you. If you join my team, you get a free basic membership to Stamp Happy Academy. So you have access to over 100 online classes and you can choose to add on the live only, which includes just the um, three live classes every month. So check that out. It's super fun. Everybody that belongs to Stamp Happy Academy absolutely loves it. Okay, you guys, I said I was going to do a challenge for you. And my challenge is going to be, I called this card a Screaming Eagle card last weekend, but somebody messaged me and said it's actually called a Flying Seagull or something like that. Anyways, it's a fun fold. It's super easy. Um, I'm going to be making two different cards tonight for you using the Gorgeously Made Bundle. And the Gorgeously Made Bundle, let's see, where did that one go? Oh. Let's check that out. I also have an online class with that that I have a couple of these left. So with that class, you have the option to add on the bundle, which is beautiful. It comes with a wink of Stella, linen thread, an entire pack of this beautiful, beautiful paper. This is called Masterfully Made. Look at this paper. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is an entire pack of 12 by 12 cut down to six by six for shipping purposes. And then you get the pre-cut cardstock pack with the eight envelopes and also these beautiful sequins. So this is a whole class and we're going to be using it tonight. I also made these gorgeous cards on one of my lives. You can find these on my blog with all the instructions and dimensions and a video replay. This is called a an impossible card. Looks super hard, but believe me, go watch the video if you miss it. It's really easy. And I made two of them just with different papers and different colors. Isn't this just the coolest thing ever? So this actually sits right up. An impossible card you write on the back here. Matching envelopes. Love, love, love this. So these are not part of the class. They're just additional ideas for you using this bundle. Okay. Um, this class, by the way, is $56. It includes all those things that I said. You can add on the bundle for an additional $61. And all of my prices include tax and shipping. Are we ready to stamp? I think we are. Okay, I've got my stamps ready. I am going to bring in, don't let me forget to do my mail. How can you tell me, right? Oh, that makes me so sad. I'm going to bring in those sequins, my linen thread, my wink of Stella. I'm going to be using the Fresh Freesia and Berry Burst ink pads. And then let me grab all these little pieces of cardstock here. I just want to make sure that I've got you guys in here right. And you can see my screen hang tight. I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. Okay. Let me bring in my paper trimmer. So I'm using that masterfully made designer series paper. This is like one of my favorites. I, I just, this makes me so happy. It's bright. It's colorful. We are going to take the layers for the flying seagull. That's what I'm calling it now. Flying seagull. And what you need is your solid colored cardstock. So you're going to need two pieces that are four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Don't forget that because I forgot to cut the quarter off because you know your cardstock is eight and a half. It's eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. Make sure you cut that little bit off of there. And then you need one piece that is four by four. So we're going to take these two pieces and do just a touch of scoring. I'm going to score this at two and a quarter. And again, all of these dimensions can be found on my blog. And that address is right here. So we've got two and a quarter 
four inches and six and a quarter. Right up there to six and a quarter. And you're gonna do that to both of these pieces. So again, two and a quarter, four inches, and six and a quarter. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So we've got those two, we've got an envelope, we've got um, some white scraps, and those are my DSP layers that I've cut. So we've got um, Berry Burst, Fresh Freesia, and white scraps. So I'm just gonna set those over to the side. And we're gonna, we're gonna put this together first. So when you look at these score lines, you can see that this is a decent sized panel, decent sized panel. Oh, this one's a little bit smaller. So I've got them both together like this. And what I'm gonna do is this is an outside panel. I'm gonna turn this around and this is an outside panel. Don't let this frazzle you because once we do the folding, you're gonna totally get this, okay? So we are going to, hang on a second. I got my other one right over here. We're gonna fold this and then this and then this. So it's gonna end up looking like that, okay? And I can see here that I've got the same thing the same score lines. This is my smaller panel. I'm going to turn this around and now I'm going to score or fold that and that and oops, I'm going to do this and this. And yeah, that's right. Just like that. So this is what we end up with when we're done. Okay. And if that's still like, not like, Oh, Kelly, I don't get it. Just wait, I'll show you. All you have to do is cut your designer series paper pieces. You're going to put them in place and it's all going to make sense. Let me do this. Get those fold lines burnished good. Okay, so this is what we had, right? Let's get these in place. Now your designer series paper pieces, we've got this one four by four that's going to go on our big four by four panel, okay? And then I cut these. These two, you need two of these. These are one and a half by four. And then I've got these two that are two by four. And when you go to put these on, you're gonna see that this is your smaller panel right here. And this is your bigger panel. And, you, and so you've got a bigger panel. Your smaller panel is gonna be second from the outside. And you're gonna do the same thing over here. This is our bigger panel. This is our smaller panel. So that's how you're gonna be able to um, tell that that's right. Now this has some printing on it and I want you, you really can't read it, but I can see the word cease here and products. So I just wanna make sure that these are, yep, these are right side up. I can see there's the word out. I know that that's right side up. Okay, we can actually glue these on right now. So you don't even have to mess with them again. I'm gonna put this one right here. Of course, if you want to make your card really fancy, you could add another layer, cut these smaller and add another layer under here. You know what I mean? That's always fun too. Okay. So here we go. The card that I made last week using this um, fun fold, I'd never done it before, but I kind of got a little confused on it. And I think I maybe confused you guys a little bit. So. I hope this one's better. I hope this one is like, oh, now I get it. I hope maybe I didn't confuse you. Maybe I just confused myself. Okay, so here's what we have. These two pieces get folded over and pushed down like this. And this piece goes right in the middle. So, I mean, that's pretty simple, right? I'm gonna glue this down first. This is like so, so pretty. Isn't that so pretty? I love this paper. I should show you where I got those other ones from. Make sure I have this on here straight. These two pieces, I'm gonna grab my paper so you can see it. Where are these coming from? Oh, gosh, doesn't that just, isn't that just delicious? It's so, so pretty. This 
this is where I got it from. I got, oh, that's not it. Sorry. Hang on. Here it is. This is the page where I got these outside pieces from. So I cut these up here and then I cut this piece from like right here. So I just wanted you to know, where is she getting that from? That's where I got it from. But yeah, I love this paper so, so much. And again, this is called Masterfully Made Designer Series Paper. Now, um, if you order this kit from me, that I've cut it down to six by six for you because I have to do that to ship it. Otherwise, my classes would cost too much money for shipping 12 by 12 paper. That's really super expensive. Okay, so I am going to, you can figure out how to do this as easy as you want, but I like to kind of hold it all together. And because I use the liquid glue, I can slide it around a little bit as I need to make sure that I've got it in place. But I'm just butting these two, they're folded down, butting them up against each other. I'm gonna come in here and add my front layer. And I'm just gonna make sure that I have this centered nicely on the front here and then I'm going to quick turn it over and make sure that it looks even on the back too okay there we go look at that boom and this is our flying seagull I, I don't know if it's supposed to go this way to fly as a seagull or is this way but I guarantee you your card is not going to fly any place <laughs> yeah okay so now we're going to decorate this up so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring in my piercing mat. This is a piercing mat. I wrap it with printer weight paper, tape it on with scotch tape. This is what I like to stamp on. So we've got some dies here with our gorgeously made um, stamp set. And I think I'm going to use this one right here. Okay, I'm going to die cut this out of white. Hang on, I got some glue on my finger. And then I didn't know if I wanted to use the Fresh Freesia scrap or basic white scrap for my sentiment. So I decided I would try both of them. And I'm going to use the um, You're a Great Friend. So there's three different sentiments in here. And then we have this fun torn end label to die cut them with. So I'm just going to stamp this right here with the Berry Burst ink, and then I'm going to do it on a white one also. And I'm going to die cut both of these and figure out, sorry, I got glue on my finger, figure out which, whether I want to use white or whether I want to use Fresh Freesia. And then I'm also going to die cut a Berry Burst label. Okay, so hang tight. Oh, and I'm die cutting this. So I've got all of these done already. I'll just set that over there. And this is how I decided I was gonna decorate my card. So I wanna use my Wink of Stella and I wanna add some wink to this layer. Now the Wink of Stella is included in the kit. So, and even if you have Wink of Stella, you know you use it up, so you can never have too much Wink of Stella. <laughs> you never have too much bling in your life, can you? I love this stuff. It's so pretty, and it's just very subtle. I know it's hard for you to see it in the camera, but believe me, on the cards, you guys know, if you have Wink of Stella, like, it just is so, so pretty. I love it. So here was my idea. I'm just going to kind of add this on here. I like the white on there, and then I wasn't sure... If I wanted to use white for my label, but I want to offset this a little bit. So that was my idea. Offset it a little bit if I should use the white one or if I should use the fresh Freesia one. I just thought that might look good with the white flower that's on here. And I really think I like this. I wish I could ask you guys. I know you're screaming, do the fresh Freesia, right? I think you are. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. So I'm just going to add some glue to this piece. And like I said, I'm going to offset this a little bit. It just gives it that fun pop of color. It makes it just a little bit more, right? The label's pretty, but with that on there, now it's just a little bit more. 
Let me grab my dimensionals. Got my regular size dimensionals here. I'll just put a couple of those on here. I've got to glue this down. So we have to kind of decide, do we want it to kind of go like that? I think I do. I think I like that a lot. I thought this was a pretty accent on this paper. I didn't want to do too much to it because I love, I just so love that pattern. It's just so, so like um, wildflower meadowy. That's what I'm going with. This is a super easy card. Just hold that in place for just a second. There we go. Then we're gonna get this. And I'm just gonna add this right down here. Just wanna get that label on there straight. Let me make sure, yep, that looks great. Then we have our linen thread. Again, this is part of the kit. Here's my bow jig. If anybody would like to order one of these, I do have them. They're $10. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. And I send you a, a link to a video showing you how to use it and make bows with ribbons and triple bows and single bows and all kinds of things. I don't make any money on these. Um, the cost covers the cost that I pay for them and then my shipping. So if you would like that, you can pop me an email and just tell me you want a bow jig and I can invoice you or you can go to my online class um, tab on my blog and look for the bow jig and you can actually just pay for it and I'll, I'll mail it out when I get home. Okay, so I don't know where I want to put this yet. I want to put it right up here. Do I want to go? No, that looks silly. Maybe right there. Does that look? No, nope, I think I'm going to stick it right over here. So... Let's stick it there. Grab my mini glue dot. And I'm gonna just kind of tuck that. I do this a lot where I decide after I put something, like the dimensionals and the label on, I decide I'm gonna tuck something. That works out pretty good for me. And last but not least, let's see if we should put some sequins on here. What color do we want to use? I'm thinking the white ones on here. You could do you could do the pink also. I'm gonna do the white ones. I'm just gonna bring a little pop of a little sequin right in there. Maybe oops, one right there. And how about just another one right over there? And when you tip this in the light, you can see that little bit of little bit of flash there that adds to your card. Okay, so let me get this set over here. Oh, I forgot to do something on this card. Darn it. Well, we're going to do it. I did it on the other card. Oh, that makes me so mad. But now, here's your fun card. When you stand it up, it stands up just like that. So it looks just like this. It's kind of like got that little thing in the middle. Here's your seagull card. Okay. And then you can write on the back of it. You can write here. You can write all over the place because this is completely open. Now, the other thing is I have an envelope, and I wanted to decorate that up a little bit. We have all these beautiful images in here. I think we should use them, right? So I chose this for my envelope, and I'm just going to stamp that right there in the very first. Let me get this closed up. And then I'm going to go with this, and this is kind of like worn words. And this is the fresh freesia, and I'm just going to put that right on there. And I think that is going to be absolutely perfect to go with our card. And remember this card tucks up like this, goes right in the envelope, mails right out. Look at, I just stuck my arm right in my ink on my stamp. <laughs> Hang on. The hazards of stamping. Well, I've got a baby wipe here, so I'm just gonna clean. I'm just gonna take a bath. <laughs> right away. I'll leave that out because we know more is coming, right? Okay, so I've got one more card to make for you. Let me get these cleaned off. This is my Stampin' Chamois, and this is what I use to clean my stamps. This is in my online store, and of course you'll find the online store on my blog. I always appreciate your orders, you guys. It's what keeps these free videos coming and pays my bills. This is my full-time job. All right, so this is one card. Now, the next card that I'm going to share with you 
is right here. This one's a little bit easier, actually. So I've already got my scoring done and my um, card folded. And this time, here's what I wanted to do for you guys. I wanted to take the center panel and cut it with this. And I forgot. Ah. So I'm glad I did this one. But what I did, let's just pretend we're going this way. You make sure that your notebook die, this is like a notebook at the top, um, loose leaf notebook, is right at the edge there. This was four by four and you just run it through your machine. I would use some washi tape to hold it in place so it doesn't move on you. Look at this, isn't that just like so cool? I love this. So we're gonna take this, this was four by four, this is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And we're gonna glue this right in the front, just like this. Oh, I love that, I always love the notebook look. Just love it. Okay, these are our two panels. And remember, this is wider, this is thinner, this is wider, this is thinner. And so I've got my two by four and two by four and my one and a half by four and one and a half by four. So I'm just going to glue these in place. This is the back side of one of those floral papers in the masterfully made designer series paper pack that comes with this online class. love the coordination of all of the, you know, one side and the other side is so pretty. And I just decided that the center panel that I chose for this card, this one, like it just does all the work for you, right? How cool is that? I love it when our designer paper is like, like just takes over the card. It's beautiful. You don't need to do a lot to that. So this is great for quick and easy cards, right? So we've got that done. Now we just need to glue this on, right? So again, I'm just gonna kind of line these two up together. I've got this folded back to do our flying seagull. And I'm just gonna come in here and add this over the top, oops. That. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this over so I can see what's going on here. What's happening? You know what I betcha? You know what I did? I, this is what I totally did, you guys. I forgot to cut this from eight and a half to eight and a quarter. I just know that's exactly what I did. So, dummy. <laughs> I never, I'm not too hard on myself, right? Mistakes happen. I'm gonna do that right now. I can use this as my guide and I'm just gonna cut that. That's why I said before, don't forget to cut off that quarter inch because your these two panels are eight and a quarter by four and a quarter, not eight and a half. See, I know myself well. I knew I, that's why I tried to warn you. Okay, look at that. I love this. So I picked up the green and the stems. I picked this color up in some of the flowers. This is the fresh freesia. And then I stamped, this by the way is pretty peacock. I stamped a label in pretty peacock. And then I die cut another one in lemon lime twist here. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna offset it a little bit. Just like this. I'm not gonna add the die cut to the front here because this is so beautiful. I don't wanna cover any more of it up. Uh, dimensionals right here. Ooh, look, I'm almost out. I get to start a fresh pack. Ugh. It's almost as exciting as when you open up a brand new verse mark that you haven't stamped all kinds of ink color in, right? <laughs> hmm. And let's see, do I wanna go? No, nope, I wanna stay right here. I really like that look in that bottom corner. And then I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the twine. This is a triple bow that I make with this linen thread and the bow jig. The bows turn out perfect every time. If you struggle with bows, you need some type of a bow maker. 
because nobody needs to have frustration when they're trying to make pretty bows, right? Where did my glue dots go? Does anybody see them right here? And here we go. I'm just gonna put this right in the same place. It makes me so mad I forgot to do that on that other card, you guys. Ah, that was like my whole like, oh, this is gonna be really cool. And then I didn't even do the cool. Okay, and what do we think? I think we definitely need to go with the peacock colored sequins here. I'm gonna get a big one and a smaller one, and then a smaller one and put it right, oops, right down there. Ah, oh, I love this. And then I already stamped with pretty peacock and the um, lemon lime twist on the envelope here. Let's get these out of the way bring this back and move all this mess out of here. Here is our flying seagull, just like that. I love how easy this is, right? I think I did a better job this time. Of course, right? When you do things more than once, it's a lot easier. But there we go. I love that notebook thing, right? Okay, so here's the deal. While I'm away, while the cat's away, the mice will play. I'm not calling you mice, don't be offended. But um, while I'm away, I would love you to try making this flying seagull fun fold. Super easy. I've got some pictures I'm gonna put on my blog before I put it all together to help you understand the folding, how the folding goes here, because it really just goes like that. You just put these two panels on here. I explained how to put the small ones in place. I would definitely think you should just cut everything and then go from there. And you're going to make a card and you can make as many as you want. And I am going to be posting a graphic for this challenge on my Facebook business page. And when you get to Facebook, there's a little search bar on the Facebook page you can go to my Facebook business page and it's a stamp above dash your creative coach. You type that in and it'll bring you to my business page. You're going to look for a graphic about this challenge and you take a picture of the card that you make and you go into the comments under the graphic and you can load that picture in there. Now, little tip. You don't want your pictures to be sideways, right? You want them to be this way. You don't want them to be showing up like that. If they do, don't panic. But when you're taking a picture with your phone, if you take it and tip it like this, like your phone is like this, if you take it and tip it like that, it'll move your camera so that it takes a picture this way in landscape instead of portrait. Just a little tip. So I will have a link on my blog. I'll also try to remember to put the link for the Facebook group under this video on YouTube. But remember, I'm camping this week, so I'll try to remember to do that. Always go to my blog. I'll have a link to the Facebook group. And um, post your pictures in there because there's a prize. I'm gonna do a drawing for everybody that participates. I have a whole bunch of designer series paper to give away. Also, the prize, this is all one prize. There will be one drawing, one winner. The bird's eye view, and these are the cards that I made last week with the bird's eye view. Isn't this super cute? Um, by the way, I made an error last week. I still had my uh, Sahara sand ink pad over here and somebody said isn't that retired yep it sure is I am so sorry but this could easily be crumb cake for my birds so thank you for telling me that I have moved it out now so I don't make that mistake again I just completely didn't even think about it so there's one of my flying seagull cards and here's another one just with different colors and different paper you can find these on my blog too 
matching envelopes. So not only are you gonna get, the winner's gonna get the bird's eye view, they're gonna get this beautiful designer series paper pack and also these in color jewels. So you guys, this is the prize. I can't hardly wait to give this away. I love giving away prizes. So look for the Facebook link. Now, what happens if you're not on Facebook? If you don't have a Facebook account, you can email me a picture of your card, put in the subject line, card challenge, and then you can, you're going to send it to Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y at astampabub.com. And I will load it on the Facebook group so everybody can see it and I'll put your name by it. So make sure you put your name in there. Some people have sent me their cards already via email, but all I've got is an email address. They didn't sign their name. I need your name in there. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what you guys make. I love seeing what you guys make. Like I have people that share their cards with me and I love to see what you're making with the ideas that I am sharing with you because that's why I do this. I share to give you creative inspiration. Love it, right? So I have some mail to share with you guys tonight. I have, whoops, I don't want to show um, addresses. Look at this. This is my Friendship Royalty stamp set. This is my million dollar stamp set. And I think that Diane and Chris did an amazing job with this stamp set. Ah, they did a technique using the um, ink spots, dragging the ink over it and making your own kind of eclectic background paper. And I love it right? Look at all these rhinestones and jewels on there. Oh, fit for a queen. Isn't that cute? Yeah. If you'd like an autographed copy of my um, Friendship Royalty stamp set, you're going to find that on my blog under the online classes. I do sign them all, like for reals. I sign them all. Um, this beautiful card. Oh, I absolutely love this. Uh, this is from Michelle. Montemurro. I think it's Michelle. It could be. I think it's Michelle. If I got this wrong, I am so sorry, but your name isn't on the envelope and your writing is really pretty, but um, this is a sympathy card and look how gorgeous this is. My gosh, I absolutely love this. And this uses the timeless arrangements. I have a kit for that, like for this whole bundle. But thank you so much. This is so, so very sweet. I just, I love your card. It's absolutely beautiful. We have another one here. This is, oh, I'm gonna know who this is because she sent me two cards. Hang on. She sent one to see. It is Michelle. Michelle, I'm so sorry. <gasps> Look at this. I made sure Steve was in the kitchen when I opened these cards. I said, Steve, check this out. And he's like, wow, that's really cool. I'm so sorry for your loss. This is for the loss of mom. This is for the loss of the garage and all the stuff. And look at how she did that motorcycle in there. It looks like it's running, right? This is a really cool card, Michelle. Steve thought it was pretty neat. Like, he's like, wow, that's really cool. So that's about as much excitement as I usually get out of him for a cool card. So you did good. Michelle also sent a gift card to Home Depot. Thank you so much. Like Steve, Steve has been like, you know, we've gotten some gifts from people, um, gift cards and stuff like that in cash. And he's just like, I can't believe your people. He calls you guys my people. I can't believe your people. They're just like so generous. I said, Stampers are the nicest people. Like I've been seeing that for years. Now you understand Stampers are the nicest people. We help each other out, right? All right, you guys, that is it for my class tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed these cards. I hope you will join my challenge and be entered in a drawing to win. Everybody has the equal opportunity to win, okay? It's not a contest, it is participation. And don't forget about the new catalog kickoff party. Um, like I said, I don't know when I'm gonna post this, but I will get it posted. You're gonna find it here, these kickoff parties. If you're a stamper, oh my goodness, this is like heaven, not kidding. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. 
I hope to be posting some pictures on Facebook of our camping adventure. You guys know I'm big about sharing, sharing all my little adventures. I love to follow along on other people's vacations. So that's why I like to share mine too, because I, I just enjoy that. Maybe some people don't, but that's fine. You don't have to look at it, right? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me for tonight. And like I said, I don't know that I'm going to be live on the 13th, but I will definitely be live on the 20th. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Have yourselves a great week. Thank you so much for taking time out of your evening to spend with me. Good night. Hey, you guys, I hope this records also, but um, had to let you know that I am actually doing a screen recording because when I tried to upload this video, it was completely corrupted. So I'm actually sitting in the campsite. Here comes a forerunner um, <laughs> down the road, a camper just parked next to us, and we've got jets going overhead. So I apologize for any noise background, but this was the best I could do. Have yourselves a great week and a half. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.